all right so what's going on everybody welcome back to the channel man it's your boy and for today we're gonna be talking about ctps and which characters you should be giving them to the reason we're discussing this is because we have a ctp unequipped discount currently going on and i've had a couple people hit me up over the last few hours asking if so and so is good with a ctp of judgment a ctp of rage a ctp of energy so what i wanted to do was put together a list of about 60 yeah it's a long list about 60 characters that i have ctps on or i'm gonna put ctps on sometime in the near future because i think they are worth having a ctp However, let's say you're not in that situation where you can give CTPs to all of these characters. I want to actually still show you them and show you what I have on them, what they're good with, so that if you do have one or two of these characters on this list and you're considering a CTP for them, you know which one is good for them. All right, I'm going to give you like two options for every single character, whether it's for PvE and PvP, or if it's just the best one for PvE and a second option in case you don't have the best one. So we're going to start with Mephisto. Like I said, this list is pretty lengthy. It's 60 characters. However, this game has 241 characters. So I don't expect everybody to have all the same characters I have. So that's why I'm putting together such a big list, right? If you don't have all the characters, it's completely fine. But let's jump into it. Mephisto, the number one de facto best PvE character in the game, in my opinion. A CTP of Judgment is the best CTP for him. It allows him to dominate all PvE content. However, if you do not have a Judgment, the second best option for PvE content will be Rage. Many of us have Rages sitting in our inventory. I think I have like 11 sitting in my inventory right now. I'm not trying to flex. I'm just saying the Rage is kind of falling off compared to the Judgment and the Energy. So if you don't have a lot of Judgments, give him a Rage. He will be really good with it. But just keep in mind that the best option for PvE content will be Judgment because it boosts elemental damage and he's fully elemental. It also gives him all attack, chain hit. And once you reforge this, it gives him even more damage because it gives you that type, right? a type enhancement that gives you more elemental damage. All right. For PvP, Mephisto, Regen, if you want to go that route, completely up to you. Next character we're going to talk about is Null. Null, the best CTP for him if you are able to cancel his skills properly, is a CTP of energy. It gives him chain hit, ignore dodge, and that actually makes him even more dangerous. He's really, really good for PvE content. However, for me, I use him with a rage because at one point I was using him for ABX, even though Loki was better. I just liked him a little bit more for ABX. Eventually though, I will change him over to a CTP of energy. I'm not gonna do it right now just because I don't really use Null that much. So I'm gonna leave him with the second best option for him for PvE, which is the rage. And I'll see what happens when they um eventually reforge rage, maybe maybe this will ultimately become the best ctp for him because i don't like how um i don't want to say difficult it is to proc with him with energy but you can miss your procs with energy because you're canceling multiple skills right you're doing uh four delay cancel five and then you're trying to proc on two because the two does the most damage and you're just basically letting this run like you would cable's fifth skill so having chain hit coming from his passive and then chain hit coming from the ctp of energy that that's 50 percent more chain hit damage plus the ignore dodge is really good for war boss legend specifically against null himself it helps null do really 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 good amount of damage but you can miss your procs and you can go from doing like amazing damage when you hit your proc to doing like no damage well not no damage but significantly less damage so that's why i run him with rage it's a little bit more consistent even if you will you can't really miss the rage proc too too often but anyways energy is better for him than rage next up is sentry sentry is really 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 good with a ctp of energy it gives him ignore dodge gives him some chain hit and he hits like a truck when he gets chain hit com combined with pierce right but for me he's the number one de facto pvp character in the game so i run him with a ctp of regeneration i find that to be the best thing for him completely up to you what you need from your null and your sentry may be completely different like me all right i use null 
for PvE. I use Sentry for PvP. Some people, I know they use Null for PvP, and then they use Sentry for PvE. I personally think you got it backwards, but that's just me. Moving on. Ebony Ma. This is the best CTP for him. I know some of you guys think this is um energy base and it's not mind damage but i've tested it and it is mind damage i think it's just listed wrong so just keep that in mind number one best ctp for ebony ma if you really like him his judgment and he actually is really really strong i think he's deserving of it if you don't have uh judgment to give him you can give him a rage but i think the judgment is far superior you could even put an insight on him if you're just trying to make him a pvp support but i feel like that would be a waste personally because he's a really strong dps quicksilver honestly i think at this point not too many people are using quicksilver so i would just say maybe give him a crit damage obelisk with like a 180 proc 200 proc Maybe some ignore dodge on it or something. You probably don't need it because he gets like 50% ignore dodge in his kit. But if you want to, you could give him a CTP of energy and he will do well with it. But for me, I have a rage on mine. Okay. I don't think he deserves a CTP at this point in the game. He's kind of falling off. Not no lie. Love Quicksilver, but it is what it is. Dormammu. I think there's two ways to run Dormammu. You can run him with a judgment or you can run him with a regen. I think he's better suited for PvP, so I run mine with a regeneration. Moving on, Odin, number one de facto best CTP for him is a CTP of Rage. Nothing else, nothing else. I don't think Odin has very much PvP value, so I don't think you should be giving him a regeneration. I think you should just be sticking to the Rage, and that is it, okay? Next up is Proxima Midnight. Some people run Proxima with Rage primarily for ABX because when it comes to ABX, being able to spam your skills and get them off as quickly as possible, it helps you do a lot of damage, a lot more damage to get higher scores in ABX. CTP of Energy though is overall the best CTP for her outside of ABX. So for me, I care more about um, World Boss Legend and uh, other PvE content. So. I want to run mine with energy. Next up, Wanda, Scarlet Witch. Judgment, a brilliant judgment, is overall the best CTP for her. However, if you do not have a brilliant judgment, Rage is the next best thing. I think a Rage is a little bit better than a uh, Mighty Judgment. Just as, just as me. All right. Next up is Silver Surfer, the Demonic Savage. My man, no one read. So anyways, moving on. Best CTP for him and the only CTP for him at this point in time, in my opinion, is a CTP of regeneration. I'm not going to give you other options for this character because I think he would be wasting his potential. I think there's other characters in the game that can outshine him in PvE. So there's no need to uh, make him a half-assed PvE character. Just make him a god in PvP and be happy with that. All right, that's where he is right now. Moving on, we have Thanos. Some people would say, hey, use Thanos with a Rage and then he can do PvE. I'm not going to tell you to do that. I'm going to tell you to use Thanos with a CTP of Regeneration and have him be the PvP monster that he is. All right, moving on. We have Apocalypse. Apocalypse. All right, Apocalypse, Judgment. Judgment, Judgment. I think he's amazing with a CTP of Judgment. He can work with a CTP of Rage. I have seen people use him with a CTP of Regeneration in AC, and he's annoying to deal with in AC, but if you don't play AC, don't bother giving him a Regen because he doesn't compare to like Thanos, Jean Grey, and the other PvP characters with a Regen. I'm just saying. For a timeline battle, it's just no moving on we have cable now i personally despise the kid cable uniform that's why you don't see me make too much content with him with this uniform the best ctp for him is a ctp of rage however if you have summer days which i don't have the best ctp for him is going to be energy so when this comes back this summer hopefully fingers crossed next update i will be purchasing it and that's why i still haven't switched over my cable to a ctp of rage because i don't plan to use this one so if you have this one rage is your best option and if you have this one energy is your best option and i think overall summer days is stronger than um x of sword cable all right moving on gene gray 
I have a CTP of greed on my Jean Grey. Some people will tell you that you should use rage. I'm not going to be one of those people. I'm going to tell you greed or regeneration. Those are the only two ways to play Jean Grey. She is not very good for PVE content. Don't be fooled. All right. I have a CTP of rage on the maker and this needs to be changed. I think he is far superior with a CTP of energy. If I remember to change this later this week before this discount ends, I will be changing this to a CTP of energy. That's the de facto number one CTP for him. Rage kind of fails in comparison. Wolverine. I know some of you guys may love Wolverine, but this is all he deserves. Max HP, invincibility. <laughs> you could give him a regen, but I think you're better off giving it to somebody else. Doctor Strange. I don't I don't think this guy know. No, 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 no. Please don't give Doctor Strange any CTPs. If you are like on a budget, if you're like me and you're a whale, or if you just really, really love him, give him rage. That's pretty much the only thing you can play him with. Deadpool. Now, I recently changed this over. I actually changed this yesterday as soon as the discount started because we out here big pimping. We play in AC and I wanted my Deadpool to be as annoying as possible. And I think this Deadpool right here is the best one for PvP. Like the pimp suit is way better, I think, from what I've seen on autoplay, right? Better than a Holiday Lady Deadpool. And since we're kind of out of the uh, defense down meta and I don't really use my Deadpool for PvE. The only time I've used Deadpool in the last like three months or so is like just to muck around a little bit in World Boss Legend and he wasn't really doing too much damage. So I was like, you know what? Uh, why am I leaving a CTP of energy on him when I'm just using him for conquest? Might as well just switch over to a PvP build and then just have him be actually really good there. So yeah. Deadpool, regeneration. Namor, kind of falling off. I think still the best thing for him is a rage or maybe a judgment, but I don't think he deserves it. Unfortunate. Cyclops, this is the best thing for him. You could run him as a DPS and give him rage, but I think the best thing for him is an insight because you're going to get way more value out of Cyclops. You can use him in a World Boss Legend, World Boss Ultimate, ABX if you want to. So, yeah insight because you get to take advantage of his leadership his support passive and then you have the insight to give your character even more damage moving on we have magneto magneto could be one of two things he could be a rage character so you can have him as a leader and a dps or you can have him as a character kind of like cyclops where he's a leader for like your gambit and whatnot your gambit your cable and then you could also give him an insight to uh, buff them even further but i think having him as a working dps is actually not a bad idea moving on we have professor x i think judgment is a little bit better for professor x because he's elemental so i might be switching this over but i don't really like playing with professor x too too much against mephisto against null is not too bad but against mephisto being up in mephisto's face like that it's not very good it's not very fun you can die very easily so that's why i'm not really too much like in a rush to switch this over for Professor X, especially since I have way more judgments. Sorry, I have way more rages than judgments. All right, Storm, you could run her with a judgment, but honestly, since I am lacking judgment, I run her with a rage. It's not as good as the judgment, but to be honest with you, Storm is not that good. Her primary value right now is just as a support for Danger Room or for uh world boss legend for your beta ray bills and your thors okay she's a decent support 35 percent more uh elemental damage there is pretty good so you could put an insight on her to buff your thor even further to make you make it so you have more support characters right moving on we have my baby rogue absolutely love her judgment is the best for her she's gonna do wonders for you in squad battle because she's the best uh speed mutant just what it is right now unfortunately for deadpool he's not uh, even close to rogue unfortunate so rogue is gonna be amazing for world boss legend obviously if you're good for world boss legend you're probably top tier for world boss ultimate there's very few characters that can do really well in legends that can't do very well in ultimate okay so if you don't hear me mentioning ultimate too much it's not because they're bad for ultimate it's just because it goes without saying right rogue rage second best judgment the best 
black panther i gave him authority just because i had like 12 of these sitting in my inventory i don't think you should because at some point i'm gonna pull this off when it becomes a fodder for me to like reforce ctps but i put it on him because I play AC and all my tier three characters, at least I want them to be able to do something and not die, all right? Moving on, Carnage, Rage, only way to play this guy in my opinion, okay? Moving on, Crescent, don't give her anything. I gave her max HP and invincibility so I can use her in Alliance Conquest. Hulk, the only way to play this guy, I'm sorry to tell you, it's not Rage, okay? hulk rage monster no hulk regeneration monster pvp monster great for ac great for at in what i've heard right but not that great for pve unfortunately so regeneration same as uh his counterpart i guess his evil counterpart uh carnage rage is really good for venom his abx meta so just keep that in mind authority is what i've given uh captain america here similar to black panther i want to get some value out of my tier threes and he was just sitting here without an obelisk i don't think he's good enough to be giving uh rage these days he's not as good as iron man so no nah, i'm not going to give him one of my pve cdps all right captain america sharon rogers this goes without saying a ctp of energy is what you want to give to this character moving on iron man ctp of energy i think he deserves this he's an absolute monster i should get this up to a 200 percent proc eventually but sometimes it can be a pain to roll those 200 percent proc so star lord star lord can be one of two things he can be a leader or he can be a dps so you decide what you want to do if you want him to be a leader slash support kind of like cyclops you can put it inside here i've been struggling to decide what i want to ultimately do for this man so that's why this is empty or you could have him as a leader and a dps where you put a rage on him i have seen great things from him with a ctp of rage shout out to the homie john constantly showing me stuff with star lord and i'll go in and i'll be like yeah star lord not looking too hot and then this man will put up like 55 million damage in like danger room extreme so uh yeah star lord can actually be a working dps ant man i gave him ignore dodge because i use him in ac right I was thinking about giving him patience, but I think transcendence is better so I can counter other people's Ant-Man. So that's why I gave him this. I think this is all he deserves. All right. All attack and uh, ignore dodge. Black Widow. This is for PvP. Whether it's AC or AT, I think this is the best thing for her. She has lots of iframes. So giving her another way to heal and giving her extra damage to all types, I think is really, really good same for daredevil pvp offensive pvp character not a tank like sentry so you want him to kill and kill quickly moving on luna snow i think rage is the best because the only thing she is good for is abx in front of scene uh rage seems to outperform judgment for abx specifically all right so even though she's elemental and most of the elemental characters in the game do way better with judgment it seems like luna snow does better with rage all right so just keep that in mind let's move on spider-man same reason as ant-man i use him in ac giving him ignore dies to counter other people's spider-man i think that's a good idea so that's why i gave him that winter soldier i just gave him this because it was either this insight or uh authority he had nothing before he's not that good he's a leadership so i wanted to give him something with invincibility all right i'm going through all these tier three characters even if they're really bad just because some of you guys they may be your favorite character and you might want to see what i have on them and why i gave them what i gave them if you're checking my roster so that's why i'm going through them all right black bolt i think the best thing for him is actually an energy if you're able to proc properly but the most consistent thing for him is actually rage so if you want consistency go for rage if you want the most damage possible go for energy but just keep in mind it's gonna be a little bit more difficult to play all right if i don't mention pvp value they don't have much outside of ac captain marvel um i went back to a rage i had destruction on her for the longest time however i just went back to a rage because i was using her a little bit in pve i think rage is still one of the best for her i think destruction could work if you play ac and that's about it i don't think she's good enough for a timeline battle anymore ghost rider it's either judgment i think judgment might be number one for him but i still have a rage on him from before i crafted my cards i might be switching this to a judgment soon because now that i've crafted my cards i have pretty much i think more than enough stats to make up for what i would be losing yeah 
I think so, yeah. I might be losing a little bit of crit rate, but my dodge would still be pretty much capped out, right? Yeah, so the reason why this was on him and still is on him right now is because I didn't want to lose all the crit rate and all the dodge. And as we all know, Ghost Rider doesn't have a frenzy buff or nothing like that in his kit. And he also has pretty bad survivability due to his low movement speed and not having a heal. So I like having max dodge with him. So the more crafted stats you get, the uh, less valuable the rage becomes because you no longer need the crit rate and the dodge. So it's easier for you to transition from rage to judgment. So I'm definitely going to think about switching this over maybe next go around. Next up is Loki. Now that Loki is not dealing that much elemental damage, I think the rage is best for him. He's really good for dispatch. He's still amazing for ABX. He's not that great for legends. So just keep that in mind. But I think he's amazing for dispatch. Next up is Thor. Thor, I'm going to be switching over to a judgment once I get a few more in my inventory. You can see I have none in my inventory right now, but I have like, what is this? About 10, 11 rages just chilling there. So the second best option is going to have to do for now. Once I get more judgments, I'll switch this out to a judgment. All right. Vision. Vision is going to be energy. Okay. I think energy is way better for him. The more you play him, the easier it becomes to proc properly with him. So I would definitely suggest that you go with a CTP of energy. If you don't have an energy laying around, which at the time I didn't, you can give him rage and he will do well. But I think he is better suited for an energy once you learn how to play him. Moving on, we have Call of City. And I think the best thing for him is a CTP of energy. Nothing else. Okay. CTP of energy is amazing for Corvus Glaive if you care about everything except ABX. I think for ABX, from what I've seen from the top players, Rage is going to be better because you're able to just spam your skills more instead of waiting around trying to line up the damage proc. So if you care more about ABX, and today is indeed the Speed Villain Day, Rage is better. And I might, I might be swapping him over to a Rage just so I can cap because I am kind of struggling to cap on the uh, speed villain day right now so something for you to note in case you see me switch him over to a rage the rage is only the best option for him for abx specifically for everything else energy is going to be better moving on super giant judgment is the way this is one that i got asked quite a lot can i give her a rage if i don't have a judgment yes you can but just keep in mind that the rage is going to be inferior to the judgment all right Next up, Beta Ray Bill. I even saw somebody put a rage on Beta Ray Bill. I don't know why. Maybe you were lacking in CDBs of energy, so you just wanted to give him something else. But yeah, Beta Ray is one of the easiest characters in the game to play, and energy is most suited for him. Give him that chain hit. He, he will do wonders. Moving on, energy is for her if you want to use her, I guess, in uh, World War Legend, but she's really not that good. She's like... A swap character that you use alongside Valkyrie for Extreme Alliance Battle. That's pretty much it. And I know not too many of you guys care about Extreme Alliance Battle. I might even switch this off and just put a Rage so I have more energies to go around. I'm just saying. Next up is Gambit. Gambit, obviously, you guys should know. Energy. It's, it just goes without saying. Mystique. Rage if you want to use her as a DPS, Insight if you want to use her as a support. I have now transitioned to uh, a support role for her primarily because it's been like 8-9 months since I've used Mystique as anything but a support. Haven't used her as a DPS in a long time. Not to say she's a bad DPS, we just have better DPS and I had to switch over my Valkyrie to a Rage for ABX yesterday. So. This guy, I'm going to give one of the rages, even though he's not the best character in the game. I just really, really like him. And since I have a bunch of rages sitting around and I do think the rage is one of the best options for him because he has pretty lengthy cooldown times. So yeah, 20 second cooldown time is pretty long. So because of that, the energy is not going to really work out too well for him. And I do like to play him from time to time. Next up is Iron Fist. Iron Fist is a CTP of energy, goes without saying. Jessica Jones is a CTP of insight. As much as some of you guys may love Jewel, so I had to tell you she's not that great of a DPS. She's better suited for an insight. Next up, we have Luke Cage, similar to Hulk. He is a PvP character, so you want to give him as much HP, as much survivability as you possibly can to make him tank and clap the hardest. Moon Knight. 
definitely a CTP of energy. Second best option is a CTP of rage, but energy is way better. This guy right here, I am undecided in regards to whether or not I want to use him just as a uh, PVE character or as a AC character because I don't really use him that much because I don't really have that much love for him, right? So I'm undecided. But if you do want to use him, you can get away with using him with a energy, but I think maybe he might be better suited for a rage. We'll see. We'll see what I ultimately decide for this guy. I don't feel like too many people care about him, but I still wanted to include him in this, okay? The thing, I switched over to an insight. I still need to roll this insight properly, but I figured I'll just swap him and um, get him situated because for the longest time I had an egg on him, but at least now I can give Johnny some extra damage for World Boss Legend. So, Valkyrie, before, she had an insight, and I think the insight is just absolutely amazing for her. She's one of the best supports in the game right now. However, Rage is what you're going to need if you want to actually use her for ABX. She can cap for you pretty much solo if your cards are well built and you have enough invested in her but i have not invested that much in her yet just because i was using her as a support for the longest time you probably should also use her with uh power of angry hulk because i don't think my attack speed is capped out yeah it's not so i think power of angry hulk might be better it might help you get some more hits in get some more damage off but moving on warriors of the sky this is also something that I've seen a lot of people ask about. The CTP of Destruction, where do we use it? Not too many characters use the CTP of Destruction anymore, unfortunately. So let's talk about it. The Warriors of the Sky, specifically Blue Dragon. And, uh, oh, I thought they were going to be all lined up for me. Shame. But anyways, the Warriors of the Sky, Blue Dragon, Sunbird, and Shadow Shell. Those are the three characters that you primarily want to focus on giving destruction to because none of them have penetration in their kit. And this is going to help them when they pop their Awaken skill and then they just uh, obliterate the map in AC. All right. Torch, you've already seen him. You know him. You love him. Judgment, he's elemental. He's a monster with it. So no, not much else to say. Moonshine, Moonstone, Energy, goes without saying. This guy right here, I think you should just give him <laughs> anything with invincibility and throw him in AC because of his hero killer passive. He'll be able to get you a couple wins. Okay, I might switch him over to like an authority or something. I don't see much PvE value out of him right now. My opinion could change. I give uh, my man here a CTP of Energy. Maybe I could switch this off since now I'm using... Ozai primarily for my damage in squad battle but I'm leaving this here so I can pop his awaken skill a couple times and get some damage out of him so I can get a higher score in squad battle besides that I don't use him so just keep that in mind however this is one of the better CTPs for him uh don't give Elsa anything even if you awaken and transcend her I don't think she's that great sad to say we already spoke about this guy Medusa, I think Medusa could do wonders with a CTP of energy, but I have a CTP of rage for her. I think that's the second best option. It makes it a little bit smoother to play. So it's just about consistency or if you want a higher amount of damage. We already spoke about Shadow Shell. Uh, Morbius, I don't think Morbius deserves a CTP to be honest with you, but if you want to give him one, you could give him rage, possibly consider energy, but it's completely up to you, I think. Just a regular obelisk for this guy. Bozai, Bozai goes... Uh, with a CTP of Rage just because you can use him and I will be using him today in ABX alongside Corvus to help you get 7 million and you also use Bullseye in squad battle to try and get as much points as you can like it's easy enough to get over 800k but if you're pushing for rank 1 in squad battle you kind of need him and you kind of need him with a Rage moving on a CTP of energy can work on Gwendolyn. However, I think a Rage is going to be better because her um, fifth skill and her Awaken skill, the damage is kind of delayed. So it's easy enough for you to miss the proc completely because there's a couple hits at the beginning of her Awaken skill and then the proc will go off. And then by the time the proc ends, that's when the uh, rest of the skill will play out for Awaken skill. So I think Rage might be best for her. Moving on, Molecule Man. I think Molecule Man is a very interesting character. I think he's one of the best characters for a CDP of Transcendence because he natively like reduces the effect of reflect damage and when you tier 3 him it becomes even better so i figured i'll just drop this on him and see how it works out it's either this or uh, a regen for him i think his value is just purely pvp ac specifically colossus insight nothing else 
Dazzler, Insight, nothing else. Kitty, Insight. I don't have it yet because I'm trying to roll them up, as you can see. And I still need a couple more. Insight for squad battle, right? These guys right here, they're more so for like... Uh, he's for Timeline. She's for World Boss Ultimate. She's for squad battle. Him is for World Boss Ultimate. This girl right here, I'm thinking about giving her an authority or maybe a region for AC. Once I transcend her, Nick Fury is for World Boss Ultimate. White Fox is for World Boss Ultimate and ABX. Unfortunately, I don't got the that new fresh uniform because your boy was boycotting. So it is what it is. I'm missing out, but it is what it is. Moving on. What else we got? Ghost Panther, Squad Battle, World Boss Ultimate. Insight is the best for him. Philovel, War Boss Ultimate, and also ABX alongside Scarlet Witch to help you cap or go even further beyond. Ronan, Ronan, Ronan. ABX, if you care about pushing a really high score, putting Ronan lead with uh, Super Giant and Proxima, and then putting an insight on Ronan will definitely help you get a higher score. Victorious is someone you could consider for a CTP of insight for um, AC or maybe timeline completely up to you she hulk she's the best leadership for the female combat day so yesterday you put her as a lead for valkyrie you put an insight on her see my insight is not fully rolled it's like 15 percent you can get 20 percent to both villains and heroes i only have 15 percent of villains so got to work on this but the boy was desperate in desperate times go for desperate measures <laughs> all right let's move on ancient one you can put an insight on ancient one because you can use him as a leadership for uh, Sharon Rogers and Moonstone for the blast day, especially if you just do uh, this blast female, right? So just keep that in mind. What else we got? Zemo. Zemo, you want to give him an insight for ABX or for squad battle, speed villain. Okay. What else we got? Shuri, insight, but that's mainly if you care about using her for war boss ultimate there's nowhere else to use her and you could just put one on like val and get more value out of your insight that way because val is going to be able to use the insight in war boss legend as well what else we got here okay i think that's going to be it boys so lengthy video i know but like i said there's a lot of characters in here and i just wanted to give you guys a, a broad range of options because not everybody's going to have the same characters built up and just in case you had a, a question about one of these characters, I wanted to give you an answer for them, okay? I know I left off a couple characters that some of you guys would consider for a CTP. Like, for example, at some point, I am going to give Red She-Hulk an insight because I really like the fact that she gives me 30% more HP and then damage reduction on top. But that's just something I like, not necessarily something you need, right? A couple of these characters that I listed today even, right? They're just stuff I like, not necessarily something you need. So pick what you want from it and uh, I'll catch you in the next one. Be safe. Peace out. All right. So I wrapped up the video and then I realized I forgot one. I forgot one. We forgot Punisher, Cosmic Ghost Rider. We absolutely have to put him in here because he's the one I use for squad battle on the. Uh, let me show you guys. Don't worry about these. Are, these are just autoplay scores. He's the one I use right here on the universal supervillain along with anti-man lead. So if you care about squad battle and pushing for rank one or rank two or rank three to get extra Mandalay gem fragments, you're going to need to give him a CTP of rage. Can't leave him off because you think he's pretty important. Okay. Especially if you don't have molecule, man, he's even more important. So you got to list him. Catch you guys in the next one though. Peace.